Hi everybody, Martin at Flick and Feathers again today and I'm tying a Whitlock's sheep minnow for you. Um, fairly easy play to tie. Uh, well worth tying if you fish for bass but other species eat it as well. Tied on a saltwater friendly hook. Um, as always there will be materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page where you can get access to members only content and be entered into the giveaway draws. If you choose to support the channel. So here's my hook, it's a sort of a long shank size 2, I'm tying this on, it's a TMC 9394 and it's a bend back so the first thing to do is put a quarter of the shank, put a wee bend, not much, right don't don't over bend it, right, I mean that's maybe a 10 degree bend or something, very little, and then I'm going to slightly open the gap, so I've got like this, right, that makes your fly much stickier, you still get the, the bend back weedlessness, but you'll catch more fish. Don't overdo it, that's the absolute limit, right? If you go any further, it, it stops working. Right, just crushing the barb. And I'll get this in. Just coat the area that, uh, that the tine's going to be on, right? There's not going to be any tine further back than this. I've come, come slightly past the bend, maybe 5 mil, right, an eighth of an inch, something like that. And this is going to let me just put a wee ball of dubbing for the gill rakes, right. Um, it's a nice suggestion of a wee gill. It looks really good actually, because it's internal. Just got to get a wee a dubbing. Don't need to go mad. It's just a suggestion of colour really. Now I'm going to tie let's sort of the full kind of original version here um, but you can miss bits out. I often just tie them dubbing three bits of wool eyes um, and that's enough but as uh, the original pattern I'm going to get some crystal flash about 20 strands I'm going to taper them a wee bit, tie them in here. Trim this away, keep it for the next flight. Now, in the underside maybe three or four, I'm just going to shorten them and the ones on the sides cut them at a sort of intermediate length and then the stuff on top is the longest it's coming about a centimetre beyond the back of the hook here now the, the main part of the body is Icelandic sheep I'm using this, so I buy stuff Icelandic uh, sheep, flash Icelandic sheep here, so it's already blended with a, a bit of uh, angel hair through it. But because it's blended, you need to align it yourself first, which is just what I'm doing there. Just pull the material, same as you would align and dubbing, just pull it through itself a few times. How you get a sort of bunch that looks looks like how you want it. 
tie this on the underside to represent the belly and that's going to be like the same length as the longest crystal flash Turn the waist away. Now make sure this stays on the underside and tie back to the, the bend the back. Right. Now obviously in the vise it doesn't look great, you need to take it out and brush everything again later. Same again, another bunch. A bit. It's a bit sparse, a wee bit more. Now obviously if you're just taking it from the skin and you don't have the angel hair already blend it, it's much quicker. But I like the I like this sort of blended hair. I like the look of it. So I'm going to take this bunch. I'll stick it in on top, slightly longer, right, no much, just, I mean that's now coming a centimetre or so beyond the back of the, beyond the back of the crystal flash and that's enough. Um, at this stage I'll add a wee bit of flash, some silver, just plain old flash a boo. You don't need a ton of this. I've got maybe four strands or so, and I'm going to double them. Pricked my finger on the that hook. I want the blood in the fly. Catch that in, double it back, and then got to stagger the cuts. Keep them in the middle there. Now I'm going to tie a sort of something a bit like a black nose dace. So I take some black. Put that in. Same again. Tie it in nice and tight. Maybe because I've got a nice long bit here, I'm going to fold that. It's the same material, it's just that flashing Icelandic sheep hair. We keep it squarely on top. <clears throat> I'm going to just put a wee bit of cement at this stage, just let to let that soak in and sort of bind to the materials that are already tied in. Just, you know, you don't have much uh, tying space, so you want that wee bit of durability. I'm going to take another bunch of Icelandic sheep, kind of olivey, browny golden olive colour here. Not quite the same as you would get from the back of a bucktail, but it's close enough for me.
schon mal wieder bewegt. So you can see now you're really starting to get that minnow shape and then obviously the belly will come up into it. So along the sides they've got lock sticks, a couple of hackles. I often miss these hackles um, when I tie them for myself but I'm just showing you the full version. So. Catch it and on the side. And I don't like these to be as long actually um, as the overall wing. Just slightly shorter. Make sure that they're sitting flat and they're not twisted. And you can fold back the stems. Trim away. I'm starting to get near the the end point here. Uh, you can add a bit of topping, you can use peacock or flash, uh, anything really, uh, I'm going to use a wee bit of flash here, just slightly, slightly darker, I'll use um, some this is Sabai sparkle here. Just to sort of darken up the top a wee bit, like that. Looking good. And the lateral lines, I'm going to take a bit of saltwater flash about. Need one per side. Offer it in the length of the fly, catch it in nice and secure, fold it back, and then I'll trim the folded end like half, half the length. The first one, then we'll do the same on the other side. Make sure the length to it there. Hold it flat, take a loose wrap and tighten up. Make sure it's nice and flat along the side. Same again, fold it back over itself and then trim this half the length. Right, We're starting to get this very, very flashy minnow built up. And you need a cheek or something to make the head, I suppose, of the minnow. Any sort of roundish, you could use mallard flank or whatever. Roundish, soft feather. Even a hen, some from a hen saddle. I've just grabbed two feathers here from a, a Brahma wing. A shoulder. Got to size one and that will inform the other side of the fly. Just line them up, strip away, make sure they're the same size so your fly will track through.
catch it on the side make sure you're not crushing the profile too much just you can just take your thread wraps over the the feather fibre and no more and the same thing just come in fold that back the way both sides nice and tight thread wraps you should just be able to break these away that's the tie and done pretty quick finish Take it out of the vise and I'm going to sort of split the the belly section around the hook shank there to help bring it that minnow profile. As you can see there, you do got a lovely, lovely shape on this fly. Um, it really is a very good, very well designed bait fish. Um, eyes. Up to you, uh, what you put on this. I, mean, I think it definitely wants an eye. I'll just go for a plain silver dome, I think. So I'll get my eye ready. Quite an interesting uh, way of attaching them, uh, the Whitlock's method. So the first thing he does is he gets, well, uh, some flex cement, which is a sort of flexible soft head cement, and he sort of dots it on the, the wee cheek area. Both sides. Whew. This stuff's really um, quite volatile. You need to make sure you're in a ventilated area. And then some goop. Same, get it on that area. Oops. Don't worry too much about the glue gone places, it's it's not really a huge problem. Drop your eye on. Same on the other side. Like I say, I don't mind if it goes on the thread wraps, um, the goop, because it just adds durability. Let them adjust, let them set. Make sure everything's lined up nice and even. I like it. And then I'm just going to come in. With the flex cement again, and come up onto the eye. Just coat the front edge, and then pull it, pull the flex cement back over the eye. Try to do it so you can see it better on this side. Um, so from the thread wrap, I'm just going to take it back, 
around the front now just pull this back across the eye and that sort of encases the eye in the flexible cement gives you a very very durable eye attachment and there you go Dave Whitlock's sheep minnow I've, went for, I've gone for a kind of black nose day, so though the nose isn't black, but whatever. Um, the overall scheme's there. Hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. I would encourage you to tie some of these up and give them a swim. Tight lines guys, bye!